All right, so hello everybody. Today we're gonna to be learning about greatest common factor. I hope you're all doing well. And so make sure that you're using the attached document that I sent in Google Classroom. You can use, the, you can copy it to a separate sheet of paper and make sure to have your pen and paper ready to go so you can take some notes. Feel free to pause at any time. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is define factor. A factor is a number that you can multiply to get another number. So 2 is a factor of 6 because 2 times 3 is 6. Factor is also a verb. So to factor something, to factor an expression, means you write it as a product of two or more expressions. So if you factor 6, it means to write it as 2 times 3. So if we were to factor 9, that's 3 times 3. Factor 9x. That's 3 times 3 times x. If we factor 9x squared, that's 3 times 3 times x times x. And 9x cubed, well, that's 3 times 3 times x times x times x. Now, if we did 6, that would be 2 times 3. 6x squared would be 2 times 3 times x times x. So now, on your paper, you want to write down these factors that you see. Okay? Then, we're going to circle, in this case I'm going to underline, what factor these have in common. So I notice on this side, they both have a 3, that's great. And then over here there's two x's, and I can do the two x's there. So that's what's in common, one 3 and then two of those x's. So that's the greatest common factor of 9x cubed and 6x squared. It can be 3x squared. One 3, two x's. Great. So now we're going to factor 4x and 6x squared. So you know that 4x, I can write that as 2 times 2 times x, right? For 6x squared, I know that's going to be 3 times 2. And we have two of those x's, so x and x. I'm going to underline what's in common. So I notice they both share 1, 2, and they both share 1, x. So then you know the greatest common factor is going to be 2x. Now for this one, we have 7x to the fourth power and 49x to the x squared. So I'm looking at the numbers first. I see a 7, and then I see a 49 over there. I know 49 is just 7 times 7, right? So that means they're going to have one 7 in common. Now I look at the x's. There's four x's there and two x's here. So I know they're going to have two x's in common. So with one 7, and then two of the x's, you get 7x squared. Not too bad. Okay, let's do 21m and 15m cubed. Okay, well, look at 21. I know that 21 is, what, 7 and 3? And then I know 15 is 3 and 5. Okay, great. Then, with these m's, I have 1m over here and then 3m's over here. So they have 1m in common. And it looks like they only have the 3 here. So we know it should be 3m. Great. Now, so you can also do this with just variables. And this, I think this is a little bit easier. So you look at the amount of the exponents and see how much are in common. So for the x's, well, there's 4 over here and 2 over here. So that means there's 2 x's in common. So I'm just going to put x squared. And then you have y and then y to the third. That means they only have one y in common. So it should be x squared y. All right. So now we're going to use this box to work on the greatest common factor. So make sure you write the expression 9x cubed plus 6x squared as the fact product of two expressions. So here's the greatest common factor. And then the gray boxes is going to be um, this times what is going to be 9x cubed. So, for example, I know that if I multiply 3 times 3x squared times 9x cubed, well, I know, okay, that's going to be 3x. Isn't that cool? And then for 6x squared, I know, okay, so 3 times 2 is 6. Ooh, there you go. And then that's it because there's already an x squared. So you see how that works? 3x and 2. Then you can, down here, you can write it 
as a factor of two expression using those parentheses. So 3x squared right over here, and then 3x plus 2 because this 2 is positive. So make sure you're writing that plus there. All right, let's do the same thing. So if you remember from earlier, the greatest common factor that we had was 3m, right? So then you can use that to find what multiplied here, right? So you let's see, okay, 3 times what is 15? 3 times 5 is 15. m times what is m cubed? m squared. All right. Now we go up here, and we have 21m. So, well, 3 times 7 is 21, and there's already an m, so I don't need to write that. So 3m is our greatest common factor, and then here are the two factors we wrote. Again, write that as um, the product of two expression in those parentheses. You need help doing that from this box. Just remember, put some parentheses around that. Remember, it's going to be a plus because the 7 is positive there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with x to the fourth y, x squared y cubed. Okay, so remember our greatest common factor from earlier was x squared y. All right, and then so if you do this out, oh, okay, well, let's see. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, and there's already a y there, so we're good. Then we go over here, and I see that x squared times 1 is x squared, so we don't need to put anything there. And then we have this y, y times y squared is y cubed. Perfect. So then we write that as a form product of two expressions like that in parentheses. Okay, so you can do the same thing with this one. We have 49x to the fourth plus 7x. All right. So if it helps you, you know, just draw your box. So I know that our GCF, hmm, let's look at the numbers. Well, 49 is 7 times 7, right? And I have 4x's here and only 1x here. So then our GCF should be 7x. All right. So you draw a quick little box. Boom, boom, boom. And here you go. So then I'm going to write like the product in the middle. So we have 49x mm, to the fourth. Okay, and then 7x, just like that, okay? Then, let's see, so what times 7x is 49x4? Well, I know that 7 times 7 is 49, and then I know that x times x cubed is x to the fourth, so the, the, we're going to write 7x cubed up there. Now, for 7x, 7 times 1 is 7 and x times 1 is x so this is just going to be just 1. Oh perfect so then I can write my final answer as 7x parentheses don't forget your parentheses and times uh, 7x cubed plus 1. Okay not too bad. So same thing here, if you do this, if you do it all out, you know, try it with the box method, but I can tell you right now, just doing this way, okay, 25 and 15, GCF's probably going to be 5, so I'll have 5, and then for the GCF, okay, there's 3 Y's here, 2 Y's here, um, that means the our GCF's going to have um, 2 Y's, great, so that's that's the GCF. And then what's remaining from that, okay? So 5 times 5 is 25. And then y squared times just y is y cubed, okay? Then plus 5 times 3 is 15. And then y squared times 1 is y squared. So this is your answer, 5y squared plus 5y plus 3. Now, this is the next one, all right? Well, there's no x's here, but there is a 9. So I noticed that you'll have 9 is our GCF. And then I will, you know, figure out what's times what. So 9 times 18 is 2, right? Or, so it'll be 2x 
cube, and then 9 times 1 is 9, so just raise it as 9. Great. Okay, great work. So that's an example of GCF, um, and thank you for your time.